Sam Smyers here. Today, I wanna to talk about how to use level automation on your vocals. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Automation is actually a very important part to getting your vocals to sound professional. I understand the hesitation to not use automation on your vocals because it is very time consuming, but once you actually go through and automate your vocals, then you'll realize it didn't take that much time didn't take as much time as you originally thought. I am actually guilty of not using enough automation on my vocals as well, even though on some songs I'll go back and I'll think maybe I should have automated these vocals. Automation can really help your vocals add movement to the track because maybe you add some compression and EQ and you've got your vocals sounding really good. Maybe they sound really good in the track, but just adding some automation to the phrases to get your vocals to flow with track will make them stand out even more. Sometimes automation is essential whenever you actually can't even hear the words of your singer. There are various ways that you might choose to implement automation. I think that it is very important to consider whenever you want to get professional sounding vocals. We're gonna take a look at my song Stronger Now, which I produced with another producer named Do You Love and features the vocals of Sonic Evade. Sonica Vade is an amazing singer. She was actually on American Idol and a finalist on American Idol. If we take a look at the vocals here, this is the lead vocal track. We can see that there aren't any sections that are really high or really low as far as the gain goes. That's because when I was actually sent the track, this vocal track, the vocals were sent into a hardware compressor before they were recorded. So there was actually some gain reduction and dynamic range leveling going on before I actually received these vocals. I have some automation on here just a little bit. We can see some sections. If I zoom in here, I'm taking down this peak a little bit and this peak here. If I go to another section, it looks like I took a, another section where I raised up the level a bit more. If we look at this vocal, we can see that there isn't too much automation going on. And so that's what we're gonna do today is we're going to add automation to this lead vocal and see how it sounds. And if you are with me at this point, then please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to my channel because that will help you stay updated with future videos that are just like this. As we zoom into this lead vocal, let's just go ahead and play the track so you can hear how it sounds. We'll stop there. Let's go ahead and start some automation on this verse here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just lower the entire level of the verse. And for my automation, what I tend to do is I put on a utility plugin. Here I have a utility plugin and I'll do my automation with this utility plugin. When I do put the utility plugin on my insert, I'll usually put it before any kind of wet effects wet effects being anything like delays or reverb. Here is the utility plugin. I have this automation here. I'm gonna activate it and I'm just gonna bring down this level to, let's see, we had it at zero and negative one. Let's see how that sounds. And then let's just go through and add some automation points. Let's lower this here. I'm actually going to take off the grid to give us some more movement in between these automation points. Go ahead and raise up the end of this word here. Raise up this whole yeah.
Raise up this word here. I like to automate the end of phrases that are long held out notes like this. You can see that the actual volume in this waveform trails off. And what I'd like to do is just raise that up there at the end. And then maybe we'll just take that down because I've got a lot of reverb going on there. This track down here is just a reverb track. And let's just go back to this verse here. And what I'm actually going to do for this pre is, let me just check the level of this pre. This pre I'm going to leave at 0 dB. And let me put on the grid back on, put a point there, make sure we've got the 0 dB. And then basically, this is going to change the level a bit between the verse and that pre, where the verse, we're taking it down about 1.3 dB, going back up to 0 dB for that pre, just so that we're adding a bit of a volume boost when we go into the pre-chorus. And I'm just going to do these last few edits at the end here, and then we can compare before and after. And then maybe I just want to bring up this whole section here. Bring it up a bit more than that. All right, let's go ahead and check this whole thing together. Maybe this last phrase here, I'll take down a bit to do it, let's say like 1.5-ish. And let's check it out without the automation on it. I'll mute this utility plugin. With the utility plugin, so with the automation. Now, just listen to that first verse part 
I feel like I'm adding a bit more movement to that vocal. I'm taking down the louder parts a bit. I'm raising up ends of phrases and of sections so that they kind of rise up into the track. And it's just this very subtle kind of automation that I'm doing. And I think it actually adds a nice feeling of ebb and flow to the track. Let's go ahead and check out the pre. And then listen to this part without the automation. Without that automation, you hear some parts that might be a little too loud. And then I put on the automation, and then we bring down the louder parts, raise up some end of phrases, and putting emphasis on parts of the track where we want the emphasis, not necessarily because the singer sang the parts louder or quieter. We are adding emphasis because I want this part to be emphasized more than another. Particularly that part with the automation, I think it sounds a lot better. Without the automation, it sounds a bit flat, especially this one phrase going into the hook. I raise it up a bit to add some impact before we go into the hook. And then we take that volume down for that hook part, and then I'll probably do some automation there, and then take it up again for the drop. Basically, that's what I would do for this entire vocal track. I would go through this vocal and then add the automation points like this. As you can see, I was being kind of free with where I was putting those points in. If you remember back in the day, audio engineers used to sit at a big desk with faders and actually ride the fader. And that was kind of like adding this musical touch to it that was very free. And so as I go through and add my automation, I'm not being very particular with, okay, did I make this 2dB exactly down or 2dB up exactly. Here you've got these 1.6, like just all these random values. And it's not very nice looking. It's not very pretty. Kind of looks a little rough with the automation here. But I think it will add a lot to your track if you can just go through the whole track and add some automation like this to your lead vocal or any other vocals that really need to stand out. If you need help with automation, I have another video about how to use automation in Ableton Live. I'll put a link to that video in the video description below. And so if you enjoy that, guys, please go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel because that will help you stay updated with future videos that are just like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.